What's up you guys, it's Jason D'Souza. I hope you all are having a great day. And today I want to discuss how to deal with rejection as a real estate agent. By the end of this year, it will have been six years that I've been doing real estate. And I can tell you right now that there is always going to be rejection. Whether you are speaking to someone and they express that they wanna buy or sell a home with you and then they decide not to, whether you're just making your phone calls every day or when you go door knocking, there will always be someone that says, no, thank you, I'm not interested, or they'll be rude about it and they'll just slam the door on your face or just hang up on you. But there are ways to deal with that rejection. The first thing that you do not wanna do is take it personally. And the reason why is because everyone has their reason for what they do. And this is a big business decision for a lot of people. They want to make sure that they choose the best agent or the right agent for them. Sometimes you just won't click with people and that's okay. Sometimes you will click with them and things will still go wrong, but that's also fine. But realize when people decide not to work with you that you shouldn't take it personally. It's just something that they've come across or something that they have figured out in their mind that wouldn't be the best decision for them. Now, let's say that you did make a mistake and you said something wrong or you deterred that buyer or seller from wanting to work with you. Then the first thing you need to ask yourself is, what did I do wrong? What can I do better? Those are the main things that you wanna figure out. Because if you don't know what you did wrong in that moment, or if you do know what you did wrong and you don't improve on that, then it's going to keep happening over and over again. And that's not something that you want to happen. You want to convert as many people as possible. And you can't do that if you're repeating the same mistake over and over again. Another thing that you don't want to do is jump to conclusions. Maybe you are speaking to someone that wants to buy or sell a home and all of a sudden they stop returning your texts, your phone calls, and you just never hear from them again. Well, there's not much you can do about that and you can't blame yourself for something going wrong. Maybe they started talking to someone else that could help them. Maybe a family member or a friend passed away and they are no longer looking for a home. There are so many reasons why a person would stop talking to you and you don't wanna to jump to conclusions and think that it was your fault or that that person is just a terrible person. Just remember that there are things that come up in life and not everything will go your way. The best thing you can do in that situation is to continue trying to reach out and see if they get back to you. If not, the next best thing is to move on. And that brings me into my next point, which is don't worry about the things you can't control. Many times we feel like we have full control of a situation, but the reality is that we can only control what we can control. So if a client stops talking to you, if someone does not wanna work with you, there's nothing you can do about that. But what you can do is to continue prospecting, continue making your phone calls, continue door knocking, posting on social media, and reaching out to people that would work with you. For every 100 no's that you get, there will always be one person that is willing to say yes. So don't give up, keep going. My next point on how to deal with rejection is to make it into a learning opportunity. So one way that you can do this is you can reach out to the person that no longer wants to work with you and just simply ask what went wrong or why they decided not to work with you. And for the most part, you might not hear anything back from them, but for the slim chance that you do, you can figure out what went wrong. Lastly, stop blaming yourself. There is nothing you can do about a situation that is out of your control. So don't blame your colleagues, don't blame yourself, and don't blame technology because life happens and not everything is going to happen in your favor. So don't blame yourself or others for the mistake that happened. And realize that this is a numbers game. Real estate will always be a numbers game. The more people you talk to, the more phone numbers, the more contacts, the better chance you have of finding someone that wants to work with you. And let's put this scenario into play. Let's just say that you had 50 people that wanted to work with you. Would you care if one of them said no? Probably not, right? So don't worry about it. What you need to do is focus on what you need to control and what you can control. And that is doing your job. Make your calls, door knock, get more leads, and convert them into transactions. 
So guys, if you like this video, please like, comment down below if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I am releasing more videos. And in short, I will see you in the next video.